Hi. In this video, we're going to be looking at the persistent groups feature using this reference design as an example. We're going to see how persistent groups can help us to work more effectively and better organize our designs. So to start, let's take a look at this top left corner of the schematic. If we look, this part of the circuit is actually the power supply. So what we can do is we can form a selection, right click on any member of that selection, and you'll see the option new group. We're going to left click and now we can give this selection a name. So we're going to call it power underscore main. Click OK and now you'll see the dashed border and the name of the group around the components that form the group. So immediately we can see a huge benefit in that this selection only has to be made once afterwards any operations we want to perform on this group can be done as a unit now is that the only benefit no if we look over here on the bottom right we'll see that this portion of the schematic is also related to power so we we can do is we can form the group we can right click and we have the option to add it to the existing power main group or we can call it its own group in this case, I'm actually going to make it its own group, and we'll see why in a second. We're going to call it power underscore 3v3. Click OK, and again, we see the dash border and the name of our group. So, as we've mentioned already, a key benefit, we don't have to make the selection again. It is a persistent group. Any actions we want to perform on this group we can now do so just by clicking the handle of the group which is right here beneath the power text. Now, another benefit is that we can organize our design. So if we look, power 3v3 could be considered a subgroup of the main power circuit of our design. So if we right click, we can use the add to option to add it to power main and now what we notice is that we have the main persistent group and then beneath it or on a lower level of hierarchy we have power 3v3 as a subgroup of power main and if we look at the schematic we see that the dashed border has extended to include the subgroup now in this case because of the way the schematic has been drawn this isn't optimal but it's easy to imagine creating a large power group and then having the different voltage rails as subgroups of that main power persistent group. So what this affords us is flexibility in organizing our design and it also makes it easy to work with selections in our design. So in this case we want to undo this subgroup operation. All we can have to do is right click. We can say remove from power main. So that's a quick overview of how persistent groups work in Eagle and we know that they're going to be a boon to your productivity and being able to communicate your design intent clearly. Thank you very much and have a great day.